Okay, it's uh, November the 10th. Just uh, feeding the cows here. Both bale feeders were pretty much empty. A little bit left in the one over there I'm looking at. Dad's just coming back with a uh, second hay bale for this ring feeder. They uh, pretty much ate all of this. It's less than, I don't know, 3%, 2% on the ground here. Which is nothing. That one had a little bit more, maybe 7%, a little bit under 10% anyways. So busting out a bucket and a weigh scale. So <clears throat> anyways, Dad's just coming down the path. I got the pickup parked up there. We got stuck in here last time it thawed. There's the remains of where he got stuck. It's pretty sloughy. Underneath it's just cow manure. It's no real water, but uh, anyways with all the snow that melted it was uh, pretty wet so here he comes down the path. So I got the truck in here because last time I had to pull him out with the truck because we don't have the diff lock working on the tractor. Got to look at uh, getting the diff lock fixed. We either uh, got a lever wrong when we split the tractor and put it back together or something's out of adjustment so anyways hopefully get that diff lock working because right now just the one back wheel spins away and it can be very little that deters that and then you gotta yard them back with the truck so anyways I better pause here while he drops the bale okay so there we go there's the second uh, hay bale in the second feeder and dad's just gonna go get a straw bale uh, and we'll bat them up here so probably need to get the Bolaris in here with the snow blade on it and plow back a little bit of the snow it's not too bad it uh, is a little bit slick though so there's the one feeder and then we'll put the straw bale between these four spruce trees here and uh, I really just put it in there and cut the net wrap off it and they'll kick it around. It's barley straw this year and there's not as much grain in it. So you probably won't pick through it as much but I noticed on the calves they got a bale in their pen uh, that's standing and then they just kick it around, chew on it, whatever. They're chewing some of it. Uh, so there might be a touch of grain in it but there's there's uh, not much. The combine thrashed quite a bit of the grain out this year, which is of course what you want when you combine. But uh, I don't mind a little grain in it when I have when I get the straw, because uh, they eat a little bit of the straw and it gives them a little bit of grain. So, anyways, just cleaned up that little bit of a bale and put it in the bottom of the feeder here, and uh, they may come and lick that up, but that little bit they'll. Uh, They'll probably just step on and it'll spoil, but he probably couldn't get 10 pounds out of there. There might be some that's pushed down in the snow that's frozen, so cleanup so far has been pretty good. So uh, that must mean the hay is good so far. If uh, the cleanup is good, it's minus uh, 19 last night. This is minus 11 or 12 right now, but... Uh, we did get down to about minus 22 a couple nights ago, maybe last week. So there's the twine from the two bales. So that's a manageable amount. I don't like a ton of twine on them, but I don't want the bales to fall apart either when I'm loading Uncle Dave or driving down the road with them. But uh, I don't like a ton of twine where I'm out here for 10 minutes taking off all the twine and it's a little bit of a waste. Okay, and that's how we uh, bed them. Let's put a straw bale in the center, flake off the outside rounds, and uh, leave it. They'll pick through some of it. It's not much green in this one. And then they'll kick this all open. And we come up in a day or two, there'll be about a third of the bale there. And uh, it's easy just to flip over and 
roll up by hand and right now it's like about a foot thick in here so they'll kick it and chew it through and whatever so anyways that's doing chores there's the net wrap and the fork so that's it